it will all anneal the same time every time now I've uh, aligned it and let's let's give it a shot let's go okay and and that's it on the annealing machine auto annealing machine now i hope you can uh, see this uh, close by um, here is the annealing and here it stops so it stops the uh, and the temperature still goes on to 242 celsius right up to there but this is the silvery bluish color that you want if you lo look at this one over here there's a nice one it it looks it looks good uh, that one there it looks good uh, all of them they look uh, very well and uh, that is what what you want so now that we know the setup is right the there's no more green uh, in the inside so that's all clear and gone uh, the same with with these the same with that one so i've got a a, a couple of, of of cases and just to show you how quick you can anneal uh, 20 cases uh, it's, uh, it's really I think the thing that takes the longest is is the loading of it so just let's just put in a couple of cases here okay so that's the other 16 from the packet of 20 so let's see how quick this will go through it's set up the timing is set up the temperature flame is set up i like that it's uh, all everything here is is right so there we go and now we just need a flame Okay, and there you can see, nicely annealed right up to there, uh, nothing wrong with that, I'm happy, uh, that'll work for a long time.
this one as well there is your annealing mark the neck is the right color and so is the next one you can see nicely there the annealing mark where it stopped uh, if you do this uh, at the consistency all the time you will get a very 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 long uh, a lifetime out of it uh, I don't know if you can see there um, if you can see there there is the the annealing mark uh, here you've got that bluish silvery color up to there and this is soft if I'm going to press it now it's it, it'll most probably crush not as 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 much but I'll it'll make a slight dent so that that one and all the other ones that's gone in now you can see uh, it's got the same same mark everything on it and uh, there you go same thing they the same so you can see this consistency from the machine as where you sit with the hand is uh, perfect all the time uh, you, you set it up once properly and and that's what you get uh, so that's uh, there's still four left and let's see what this one looks like there is it there and that one so they're all very very nicely annealed and uh, so this is the rocket science of annealing. Uh, some people are so afraid to do this, uh, and with the aid and the tooling that we have on the market and all these sort of things, you can anneal your cases uh, almost to the same uh, perfect level as uh, a big manufacturer like Lapua or, or, or wherever so if you look at all these cases over here they are almost identical so that is a uh, the auto annealer I've made the bushes to adapt this uh, it's made to hold this bigger case here and that's why I made the bush here to uh, adapt from that size here to the smaller size on the uh, uh, nozzle uh, because I like the nozzle more this one this one works as well um, but you see the other day I told you that you know the colder it gets you, the more you battle uh, with your uh, ignition of your of your butane so let's see if we can just get it on on yeah, with the propane uh, and, and, and see what happens okay so there you go so that's the the butane bottle uh, that's that sits here and it's very similar it'll it'll also it's in the same area where the heat from the nozzle uh, gets you know so it works nice 
but the only thing like I said the bottle will hold you maybe for 150 cases and uh, then the flame will diminish slightly and then it's gone you know you, your, your, your consistency um, is gone uh, so the machine I like a lot um, I haven't seen auto annealers uh, like this uh, that works constantly uh, there's one or two small little things that I would really like to see and that is uh, on the side here uh, there's a, 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 a dial where you can set your your temperature or your or your um, uh, speed on, on on the big wheel here uh, but there's no indication you know so I would have liked a, a numerical indication even if it's uh, logarithmic you know just to give you one two three four five six or whatever um, either that or uh, a small display somewhere uh, you get them a digital display and you can set preset it and say right this one is six or six and a half seconds and you can perfectly set it up so if uh, they come up with uh, I, I know the people from um, that makes them and I'll, I'll come up with a suggestion um, that they can have a look at that sort of thing uh, maybe they would do, do that so that's that's it for the uh, annealing of the uh, annealing machine as well then there's just one thing that I want to show you here as well and and that and this is where and we need the annealing uh, you anneal between about 600 630 640 and about 750 degrees so your 700 uh, is uh, running about there and this is the area here that area here that you need to anneal so once you've annealed and your temperature reached uh, that temperature there uh, if you put it in water or if you leave it out of water um, it makes no difference uh, quenching it quenching brass uh, makes no difference it, it, it work hardens and once you've reached that uh, temperature uh, you realign all your molecules in it again um, and, and that's it so from annealing side if you have anything to say or anything that you need to know or so uh, please put it on the on the website uh, there's this place there where we will be able to do that and what I'm also asking uh, if, for for you is read uh, the um, summary of what I've done at the bottom of the video on the YouTube video uh, it will tell you exactly what it is and what I've done and so on and then there's one specific um, highlighted uh, portion there on the, at, at the bottom uh, that leads you to the Patreon uh, face uh, or the Patreon uh, page uh, where you can make a pledge to help me out uh, I, I make a pledge from my side that I will do the best to uh, give you information good information uh, there's still a lot more uh, we're only beginning now so I make a pledge for you that I will produce quality videos and what I'm asking uh, from you is uh, go into that link and uh, there's uh, different uh, levels of pledges uh, it's a two dollar and a three dollar and a five and you can have a look at that and um, if you can do that to sustain that I can do all these for you for a long time 
I'll really appreciate that. Uh, it is also a, a mark on the uh, on the left hand and or on, on your right hand side. If you look at the screen uh, of a, 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 a circle with a cross, and if you click on that, it'll be a, a subscription. So then you can get these. Uh, if if there's one that I made and I put it on, you will get it. Um, if you like it, please send it on to other people. Uh, I really like um, feedback as well. So if you don't like something that I've done, uh, you know, write, write, give me a, a, a small uh, practical solution to something that I've, I, I might have missed there. But um, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. I appreciate your time. And uh, I hope uh, you will, uh, you will uh, like the, the rest that's coming up as well. The next uh, one is uh, case length trimming. So now I'm going to start with, with that. Now the, the big basics uh, and the big stuff is, is, is finished. Uh, and now will come case trimming. And we've got a couple of, of case trimmers and uh, the, you know there's, there's, there's enough on the market to satisfy most probably everybody and how they want to do it. So once again thank you very much and uh, we'll see you next time.